another Killer Planes video. The Killer Planes How To Series. Hi there, it's Steve from Killer Planes here with this Hawkfighter 6 that I just well put in a cartwheel. That was a nice one. And it actually cracked the tail right here. I'll hold it up so you can see it. See that? Cracked the tail. I'm so bummed. We're going to show you in real time how much time it takes to repair this thing after a crash like that. So we did some excessive damage here. We cracked the tail, so I'm going to stick the hot glue gun in there and squeeze some hot glue in. <gasps> I dripped hot glue on the towel. What? Oh, hi, honey. What did, uh, you, what did you do? This is a crappy old towel. You know that already. You know what takes the longest time on fixing this? Holding the thing while the hot glue cools off. I'm getting bored. I'm still bored. We need a theme song like Jeopardy. Follow the bouncing nose. Da 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 Okay, I think it's starting to cool down so that I can rub off the excess without burning the hell out of myself. This hot glue wants to be held all night long. All night long, all night long. Hi, honey. I wasn't doing anything while you were gone. <laughs> now we're going to glue on some little thin strips of carbon fiber. that. So I'm going to clean off three sections so that we have triangularity in our repair. That is the thing that will make it work. Okay, now we've got it scraped down in the middle of the seam on three sides. We have our three little pieces of carbon fiber that are going to go on here like so using contact cement in a triangle around the fuselage. Here at Killer Planes, we use real contact cement when gluing stuff together. So, how do we use that contact cement? Let me show you. You put a little pool on a piece of magazine. This is what we use for all of our glue. Why? Because after you're done gluing with this, you can just throw it out and you'll be done with it. You're on to the next page of the magazine, which you can mix your next glue on. So. I've put my little pool of glue on the magazine and I'm going to drag the rod through it. And now I'm going to press said rod against said fuselage, spreading the glue onto the fuselage and then press it down, right? Then you take it off and you let it sit for about four minutes and the glue will get tacky on both surfaces, on the fuselage and on the rod. When they're tacky like tape, you put them back together and they will never come apart. Once you get these babies together, they will never come apart. This is the kind of glue that they use to hold down Formica countertops, contact cement. So there it is. Now you have your three flat bars on here on the outside of the fuselage holding it together across the brake. The magic triangle that holds stuff together. This is incredibly strong now at where the brake is probably stronger than it was before. So, let's, before I even paint this, I'm gonna take it out and see if it flies. Let's go. You always have to live on the edge so you're happy with your flying, otherwise it's too boring for you. Uh -oh. Whoa. 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 <laughs> see, see, there you go. <laughs> Strangers in the night. Why do I keep doing that? Is there a song about planes I could be using? It's Steve from Killer Planes. See you on the flight line, right? With your hawk fighter. Did you know that we have a cat? <laughs>